But all right. So the sham here, and I'm here checking out the first movie reaction that's going to be for a good time. Uh, obviously, uh, why not start with something in 2024 that obviously obviously it's been a while that this movie has been like showcasing anywhere. And that is Nacho Libre. Obviously, um, it's a 2006 movie, and obviously, um, I definitely loved the heck out of this movie a lot. Um, I remember watching this, and I was, I was just having those funny moments, and obviously, um, it's just going to bring back memories watching it again for the first time in 2024. Obviously, it's literally the first week that, I literally, um, that I'm checking this out on the first week of 2024, so obviously, that's going to be amazing. And if you have any other recommendations of what other stuff I should check out, uh, definitely drop it down in the comment section of what other uh, movie I should check out. Um, there could be some bangers that I haven't checked out, and I don't know what to expect, especially from this one since it's from 2006, and it's been a good while that I haven't seen it, so I don't know what to expect. And also, if you uh, want to see me react to the Mario movie, then obviously give this video, let's go with three likes, and we'll definitely uh, watch the Mario movie next, where obviously we'll see Jack Black sing Peaches uh, instead of seeing uh, Jack Black do some... Uh, wrestling in this one <laughs> uh, but this one was reacted on my twitch which is twitch.tv slash the sham life so if you click the link in my description you'll be redirected to see me the sham check out stuff like this or some other stuff like shows uh etc or doing some gaming on my gaming channel and also don't forget to drop a subscribe that way i'm not you're not in the dark of what other stuff i check out besides uh this film um and also be sure to uh uh do uh subscribe to the youtube uh, to get that full badge of uh what's it called um members of the sham society obviously this is this is such a bad uh, intro how to say it but uh but i'm gonna try to be posting this on the patreon so let's go <laughs> so let me not waste any more time and let us jump in into some nacho libre like look at it like they're very creative like how were they going with like their like themes of like the movie saying like oh like this is how it's gonna go with um what's it called um the theme to say hey, it's a, it's a wrestling movie it's not your typical Nickelodeon movie oh my god <laughs> bro like, I'm not gonna lie there was a point in my life where as at, like I didn't age like this I also did the same amount of like craziness like trying to be like oh i'm fighting like i'm always doing the same thing like this a there's a video that was recorded and it's just like me doing like the same stuff that he does in the movie and it's like hilarious like that's always what grossed me out like i never knew what the hell that thing was because it looks like i don't know like it, it's so weird like how it turns to being. How come we can't ever have just like a salad? Be grateful one, Pablo. Today is especially delicious. <laughs> Mira. Dude, like, obviously I remember that I, I would always be like told that like by like my caretakers that they would tell me like, can't we just get something else? And they're like, me, like, be grateful. Like some some people in other places would love this. It's like, bro, I don't know about this like food, but pff, I don't know. Like vegetables, eh, I don't think a lot of people would be grateful for it. Like it, like they want stuff that would at least like fill them up. Me to be the best food for everyone, lol. Yeah, I mean, but like obviously, like there's always that um like the parents or the person that like that take cares of you that says like come on like be grateful like other people would have like appreciated at least to get this food it was like bro but like you gotta realize like you gotta at least have like a piece of meat to at least survive because like vegetables aren't gonna like help you out like every once in a while like yes it'll be good but mm. for god has blessed us with a new teacher <laughs> bro, they all give the no expressions, bro. Because I would agree so. Because, like, look at this man. He literally has no full mustache. He has the sides. Like, what kind of person would want to, like, live with a mustache like that? From the sides. <laughs> That's embarrassing. I'm Ignacio. 
God be with you, Ignacio. I was wondering if you would like to join me in my quarters this night for some toast. Dude, the Ray is right here. He's well, literally telling you for some toast, dude. He's not going into the degenerate route like how other people would go. This man is but already telling you, I want to talk with you over some toast. Here is your like, who baby. wouldn't? Like, who wouldn't? Who would say no to Jack Black offering you some toast? So that sister and I may talk of holy things. Oh my gosh, dude. Like, the way that he says it, he makes it sound sus. He's like, like, let me talk with sister while I'm stroking my hair to talk about holy things. That is freaking sus. Buenas tardes, senora. It's funny how like they're literally saying greetings in Spanish, yet they don't have Where the damn, uh, what's it called, um, generosity to at least put subtitles. He literally said, "Good, good afternoon." That's it, bro. Like, let me be in charge of the subtitles. I'm freaking tired of this bullcrap. Dude, I remember that when I went to Mexico, like, for the first time, I really wanted to get, like, a motorcycle like Ignacio. The obviously, like, you could just go ruin and, like, you could take your stuff. But apparently, I've never seen one of these. Possibly because it's probably been way too, like, long that I went to go visit. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Bro. The fact that he got mugged. Over a bag of chips. <laughs> it's so bad. Yo, the goat is here. We got a pro wrestler. Oh my gosh. This is so gross. It looks like he's serving shit. The chips. Somebody stole them. Did you not tell them that they were the Lord's chips? I was Bro, how the hell are you gonna tell you are a literal person? homeless person that literally sounded like a, a feral animal that these are the Lord's chips? How the hell would he understand that? I am the gatekeeper of my own destiny. And I will have my glory day in the hot sun. Okay. Dude, that is a freaking line. I'm the gatekeeper of my own destiny. And I'm gonna do, like, see it in the hot sun or something like that. Dude, that is a lie. Oh my god, I forgot that he does this. He literally tries to <laughs> mug the one that mugged him. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. I'm excited for this. He's like, I gotta wait. Because I'm gonna mug the one that mugged me for the chips. And I'm gonna tell him, this is the Lord's chips that you stole. <laughs> He's not gonna give him that. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> the sound effect, bro. If we win, we get 200 pesos. <laughs> He's like, what? 200 pesos? Huh? Dude, that goes hard. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. To be fair, you could say that Nacho Libre was the first one to do that bowl uh, wrestle than Jackass. Because Jackass also did the same thing after that. Dude, I would have loved to have done this. Like, like being a, like such a, like, this is what I'm gonna do like in my 30s. Like, I'm gonna go to Mexico and I'm gonna make a video where I'm like, I'm going to do some wrestling. And I'm gonna go against a guy that has a suspender like that. <laughs> Pray to the Lord for strength. I don't believe in God. I believe in science. <laughs> Bro, it, what's it called? Uh, Esqueleto, what's it called? Um, a Scientologist? Because <laughs> he says, I don't believe in God, I believe in science. So he's clearly a Scientologist. Damn, he freaking knocked him down. Now this is wrestling, this is not WWE. Because look at that, he's even pulling his hair. Oh my god, dude. 
<laughs> oh my god, dude. Dude, I would have loved to have seen Jack Flag actually like go to like WrestleMania. Cause like look at that, he has moves. What's this? It's money. Lost. lost. We all get a piece. Come back next week, and then we get another fight for you. Mmm. Dude, but that is crazy. Like, is it actually like, true? Like, even if you lose, you still get a good amount of pay? Like, is that the whole wrestling business? Because if so, dude, freaking, I gotta get in the wrestling business. They were so rich that they even got enough for ranch dressing, bro. Like, life is different when you get that ranch dressing on your salad. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> I mean, a, a casket. <laughs> That's fucked up. He may be poor, but he knows how to fucking steal like, like a champ, bro. <laughs> hey, and let it be known, it's Ewoks. It's Ewoks from Star Wars. <laughs> He's like, I'm not fighting these guys first. Like, fuck that. <laughs> like, this guy looks very feral. Oh, crap. Their ultimate finisher. Oh, shit. Bro. It's not fair. Bro, where's the ref? This, <laughs> this is more an exhibition show. This ain't no fight. Oh, my God. He did the 619. <laughs> Chaotic. But like that's my question. How much do they get paid to get their asses handed to? Cause that's crazy. Trees. Yes. <laughs> Damn, they're living the high life. Look at him. Rocking the Air Forces, or in this case, it's the white boots. They are just ninjas trying to release their wiggles. Or at least they're wiggles. They're <laughs> wrestling in a sacred place. Bro, there has been a lot of okay. uh, shady shit Orpus, that has been happening in sacred listen places, to sister. So, uh, I, know I don't know this. about, like, if wrestling nice is the, the, the top thing that's uh, to the been terrible that's happening in a secret place. So you've never wrestled? Me? No, come on. Don't be crazy. But my life is good. Real really good. good. He did the meme! I get to wake up every- This is none. I just wish I could take off this robe so she could see how strong I am. Oh, I thought I was gonna Whoa. go a different route. Bro, Bro that- match. Uh, dude, that can be taken so out yeah, of context. Right. Here on a day tonight. Mm -hmm. And I will bring some of my friends to beat you up. But we will let you win. <laughs> Bro, he has to fit, but he he literally has to like an inch on his balls, bro. There are two bombs, and I said, but these are my recreation clothes. <laughs> yeah, oh, dude, for free? They look expensive. Showing it for Thank free you. with your stretchy pants? Fine. Yes. Hey, can't you see this woman's a nun? <laughs> and if you guys have a problem with that, well, you can just fight me. Oh god. Dude, if this was very, very, very authentic Mexico, like, you would have been, like, killed, like, on the spot. What the hell? They're gonna go with pitchforks? <laughs> Bro, that's not fair. Surprise. Oh, here's the meme. Get that card out of my face! I wanna be a great fighter. But I can't even beat a couple of guys in the street. I think I know someone who can help you. The Lord? No. <laughs> oh my God. He's a water gypsy. <laughs> like, His eagle ass possesses magical powers. Dude, like I know that, like in the beginning, you we knew that that he was a, a scientologist guy, religion head. But dude, like I know he was a homeless, but who the hell was he meeting with? Cause he said I have. I know these guys that could beat you up. I also know this water gypsy. Bro, like, I want to know a lore 
for Esqueleto. Like, I want a full movie of him. Like, I know it's late, but I, I want a full movie. I want to know what kind of people he met before he met Nacho. Because this is interesting because... What you're saying to me? He's <laughs> saying, "Oh, I've met these people, like yoke. just being a I'm homeless guy and believing in science." In your... Dude, how is there not an ego just coming at you just to attack you? You're literally eating its baby, bro. How are you not getting attacked? <laughs> Bro, when the heavenly music hits, dude, you know he's gonna get a superpower after this. I'm gonna be like Goku, I'm gonna have my eagle powers to be strong to defeat these guys. Eagle powers! Come to me! Please! Hey, bro, that's a foul! That's a foul! You can't use the. What's it called, though? Bell? Dude, where's the woman with the chocolate? <laughs> I need professional help. He was wondering if the children could get a signature from you and maybe a picture. Jeez. Oh, I heard that. Oh my gosh, dude. Obviously, this may be a kid show, but bro, like, if you're listening well, like. Now that I, at this age, I can I definitely them. hear that he's like saying, dude, do you believe this guy? But he literally said it in a tone that was uh, with profanities. Bro, that is crazy. Like, I wonder if there were actual, like, parents that understood what they were saying. And they're like saying, what? Like, how could they let this uh, guy say what he said? Like, do you not believe what he said? He called him uh, a bad word. Like, this is not for my kid. Can I come in the skeleton? The luchador. Everybody is a luchador, mi amigo. Wait. Then me and my friend What's it called? Uh, pro. If I'm not mistaken, for obviously my Spanish fans out there, um, Just, isn't that guy the one like that. This man in the ring. That what's it called? Uh, <laughs> it's like one of the singers from the Tigers so of the North or El Tigre del Norte. Is it that guy? If so, dude, that is crazy. Like, I didn't even know that it was that guy. I think this was also a meme, like, that, like, that scene where he's, like, all, like, the nervous, like, smile. But, <laughs> freaking Esqueleto got that unspoken riz, because he got the chick. How did you get up here so fast? Secret tunnel. <laughs> Bro, that is, that has to be the most, what the heck, like, moment, cause, bro, like, if she's with someone, there is a very, very, uh, huh? unexpected kink here. I am a singing at the party. Oh, gosh. When they tell you... Hold up, let him cook, but you're like, you're not cooking at all? Bro, this is an exact... Oh, brother, this guy stinks! It's an actual conflict moment that you will literally get mugged or hurt like this. Bro, you freaking fatalityed him with the corn. He's like, he's like, instead of a knife, take corn. Ugh. I used to really like Ramses. I wanted to become him. But it turns out, he's a real douche. Dude. Well, what's it called? Uh, when the fans meet, you can fight meet their, what's himself. it called? Um, their idol and their idol turns out to be a piece of shit. Damn, dude. But I know I wouldn't be a piece of shit to you because I know that I appreciate you guys and I would definitely say okay. hi to you and um, what? I'll only be messed up because if you just annoy me. Only that. Only that's the only way. 
Where were you last night? To tell you the truth, I went to a wrestling match. Lucha Libre. <laughs> I love how he's like, match? I went to a wrestling match. Oh, I'm so devious. Whoa, you gotta be kind careful. Of. <laughs> Bro. Those men fight for vanity, for money, for false pride. Well, I mean, like, yeah, okay, I, I will, I will give, terrible. I will give it that. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll support the sister on this point that yes, when it comes to like us watching no. some WWE or any sort of pro Can wrestling, like, else? they are literally or like, someone some of them have. are doing it for the money, some Only are doing for the prize, some are doing it for basically everything. I will agree to that. Like, they do definitely give off those you points. But, like, there's also people that are just, like, nice overall. Like, I know, like, there's some wrestlers, like, in the community that from WWE that me, they may be dicks, like, in whenever they do their own shows. Like, like whenever, um, yeah, whenever they have, like, their matches or, like, whenever they talk. Like, some of them could be dicks, but they could be very, very nice people, like, outside of it. Like... I know, like, I have seen, like, stories where they're, like, saying, like, oh, this guy was so, um, nice to me. Like, I, like, I've been a fan, and he's just been, like, so nice. Like, he, like, didn't, like, be, like, rude to me and, like, stuff like that. Like, it's all just how people take the perspective. Like, that's all I'll, like, say. It's all in perspective. Because, like, you don't know, like, what people are actually fighting for, like, when they're in that division. Or, like, in any, um, entertainment biz. If I win tonight at the Battle Jam, I will know that you bless my mission and that you want me to be a wrestling servant of you. <laughs> I smell cookies. <laughs> He's like, I'm being smited. <laughs> oh, I was like, I'm being burned. Hey. It'll be funny if he yes, already said, it's, true. it's a miracle. It's a, so. it's a miracle from the one from above. He said, I am blessed to be a wrestler. Instead of just going oh, with maybe I've seen his, uh, his line. Okay, I, I am a wrestler. Nacho! Bro. He is not a man of God. Bro, shut up, nerd emoji. Like, no one cares about you Tonight, and your damn hair and your, and your mustache from the sides. No one cares about you. All you just wanted was to bag the nun, which you can't, because religion. Will be in the ring with me. <laughs> Wait, isn't it? Isn't that the guy from uh, Shrek, the one that pulled the sign? Or am I being mistaken? Because he looks so much like him. Hey, dude, that was a foul! That was such a foul! For her to get a uh, tombstone. And I think that's the... What's it called? The... Submission move. Dude, like, even his fan was sad. Come on. That's a foul. They could have called it. Bro, you know that this wouldn't, like, happen in a, a pro wrestling... Uh, actual fight. Hey yo, yo 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 what was that priest or what was that friar doing with those two kids? Hey yo, someone call the police. There's something sus going on around there. Cause why did that friar come out with two kids? Silencio isn't going to be able to fight Ramses. He got injured. <laughs> Oh, the bunion. Oh, dude, it's the bunions that literally got hurt, bro. Tonight. But, like, dude, that, that is a dick move that that guy play. did. Like, he literally couldn't even give to to a kid a piece of bread. Bro, you're a pro yeah, wrestler. A How the hell are you this fucked up to a child to literally say, I'm not giving you a bread? Like, you are a go earn fighter. it yourself. But we're here, boys. Ladies and gents, and everyone watching this, we're at the final act of our movie while we're watching this man get oiled up, which I don't know why the hell they're even doing this, 
for so long. They literally could have skipped a few minutes of this. I don't want to see a man just get oiled up because that is sus. His eyes are number one. Oh, His dude, this looks so creepy. The POV of uh, an oiled up man is looking into your soul, bro. That is a POV you don't want to see. I wrote a song for Encarnacion. Oh my gosh. <laughs> In my mind. Shall I sing it for you? He's gonna sing sure. peaches. peaches. He's gonna be like, peaches, peaches, peaches. <laughs> okay, I'll stop with that joke. <laughs> Bro. Dude, this was the exact ready for you now. moment that gave Jack Black the golden light to say, you know what? I'm not going to play as Bowser. I'm going to play it, but with some class of my own. Singing about peaches. And look where I am. Dude, that is an iconic photo to choose. For, like, the, the thumbnail. Because, like, why not? Like, it's the final fight. And it's just that. But, obviously, I'm probably going to go, like, with the creative one with this one. Because, like, they had a lot of good moments to make, like, a creative and funny <laughs> Thumbnail. Damn, dude. But I feel like it's it doesn't hurt coming from like that ring because it looks like it has cushion. So I don't think it hurts. <laughs> dude, they literally are saying it's a foul to remove his mask. Yo, politics, hierarchy. There's a high mind. Hey, they're here to cheer him on, even though they said it was not okay. <laughs> Holy crap, they freaking threw him clean. Dude, he would be perfect for this year's WrestleMania. Or, not WrestleMania, Royal Rumble. <laughs> oh yeah, this moment was such bullshit that literally he's flying. Like, that is such BS. Like, look at that. Like, he's actually flying. Where's the freaking invisible string? I need to call some cap on this. Come on! You lost, you loser! Oh! Yeah, boy, we got it. Yeah, everyone gets to go on the bus and eat some ice cream. Let's go. What a way to forget this ending. She did a meme. I don't know if that's the meme. <laughs> but there's also the meme, the smile. Aww. And if you want to... <laughs> and if you want to see Jack Black seeing Peaches in the next one, then obviously, like I said, give this video three likes. And I'll definitely check out the Super Mario movie where Jack Black takes his role from being a wrestler to now becoming the evil man that is Bowser who also loves to sing Peaches because obviously um uh, like I said I, lo I love this movie and obviously it's really kept up dur like during like this whole um this run of the year that it it's really run and also like the secret stuff that I've been finding like obviously the music that you hear in the background the sounds I didn't like pick it up like watching it at, back then, but now watching it in this year, like I'm picking up some new sounds, I'm picking up some new bad words that were being said in a PG movie, which were crazy, but um, nonetheless, I still loved it because of the antics that were from Jack Black, who was Ignacio or Nacho, which I definitely loved it. And But like I said, three likes and I'll definitely watch the Mario movie next. Let's freaking go.